How have you encountered Jesus this week? And what might God be up to in the midst of that encounter? Is God inviting you and I into a deeper relationship with God and with the others in our world? When I read this week's gospel about the encounter between Jesus and the Samaritan woman at the well, I couldn't help but ponder these questions. It's a unique encounter and one we've probably heard many times before. And I've heard a lot of great preaching come out of this text because it's so rich. There's so many opportunities for us to be thinking about our own relationship with God in Christ Jesus through the lens of the evolving relationship that's happening between this woman and with Jesus. It wouldn't have been normal for Jews to travel through Samaria on their way to Jerusalem. And so for Jesus and the disciples to go this route and to find themselves in this place on that day was intentional. Jesus had a plan, I suspect, and the encounter with the woman is a powerful one. Yes, she would have been on the fringes, an outcast, and so it's a, it's a conversation about welcome. And yet, as that encounter deepens and the woman begins to understand a little more about who Jesus is, you can tell that her curiosity grows and the power of the moment is not lost on her. She realizes the societal challenges involved with this encounter and yet she probes more deeply she asks theological questions of jesus it's it's just an incredible moment and and i think what i wanted to focus on for me in this particular instance is that she shows us that faith is about a dialogue that what happens when we actually engage in conversations about faith, when we truly question faith. We're not trying to have all the answers. In fact, when we believe so strongly in our convictions and in our doctrinal constraints, are we really allowing room for the possibility of revelation? The possibility that what Jesus has to share with us in that moment might be more profound than we realize. And so I want you to hear the text or a portion of the text again. In verse 24, John writes, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that a Messiah is coming, one who is called the Christ. And when he comes, he will proclaim all things to us. So Jesus said to her, I am he, the one who is speaking to you. John goes on to write, Then the woman left her water jar and went back to the city. And she said to the people, Come and see a man who told me everything I have ever done. He can cannot be the Messiah, can he? <laughs> and they left the city and were on their way to him. The gospel of the Lord. He can't be the Messiah, can he? <laughs> In our encounters with Jesus, God reveals to us the way that God is acting in our lives and in the lives of, of those around us the way that Jesus is showing up for us and in our culture and in our world. And on this day, the Samaritan woman begins to understand that her own life is evolving through this relationship, through this encounter with Jesus. 
can't be the Messiah, can he? And I think what's really valuable for me is not only this understanding that she begins to have that Jesus is for her, but the fact that she will proclaim Jesus to others. It's really incredible. And so I want us to, to always remember that as Jesus reveals his true identity to her, her own identity begins to evolve. And so does ours. As Jesus reveals his true identity to her and to you and I, our own identity evolves. We learn that in our own encounters with Jesus, not only are we changed, but that which God will reveal to us begins to change as well. We might become more confident, more secure and knowledgeable enough to invite others to come and see even as the Samaritan woman does. And that's a true gift. The ability to begin to understand the relationship so well that it not only impacts our lives, but allows us through the gift of the Spirit to impact the lives of others. Amen.